Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Richard Holizak. I'm a professor at Baruch College. I'm here to talk to you today about the computer information systems major at uh, Baruch College. Uh, so, first up, a little about me. Um, you can see my email address here, richard.holizak at baruch.cuny.edu. Uh, this is my website at CISnet. I'll show you a couple of resources in a later video about what I have there, and uh, my personal website is holizak.com. So, first question students have when they come to us is, what is CIS, what is Computer Information Systems, and, and where does it sit in sort of the continuum between technology and the business? And the answer to that question is, it's, it's squarely in the middle here. Uh, this intersection between information technology and business. And I also put computer science there because computer science is sort of a well-known these days uh, discipline. Uh, many of you might even be thinking about majoring in computer science. Um, and so I'll, I'll do a little bit more of a contrast on that. Um, but the bottom line, computer information systems, is we're developing and using information technology to address business problems and opportunities. So if you have a business problem, um, maybe information is not being collected in an appropriate way, or there are errors in the way data is collected, or the business is not operating efficiently because of um, a lack of support or a lack of automation. Uh, IT is going to be there to try and address those business challenges and opportunities, and this is where computer information systems comes into play. Um, so it's recognizing that there is some uh, problem or opportunity that a business might want to um, confront, and then what are the proper IT resources we can put into play uh, to properly address the problems or to take um, the best advantage we can of any types of opportunities. Uh, I note here the key role, this notion of a systems analyst. Uh, so many of you may have heard of this term, the systems analyst is really squarely in the middle of this intersection. So uh, you might hear that, you might see this advertised, you might hear about job roles for a business analyst or a systems analyst, and, and this is really sort of the, the quintessential job role for computer information systems. One foot on the technology side, one foot on the business side, and really someone who's going to act as a translator between the business requirements and the technology requirements and technology resources. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit more about that as we move on. Now I also mentioned briefly the notion of computer science, and over here on the left hand side, if you study in computer science, as I did when I was an undergrad, you're going to spend quite a bit of time in courses about things like data structures, obviously programming languages, um, looking at efficient ways and the performance of different computer algorithms. You may get into more on the hardware side of things, um, such as processor and system architecture. So really what we, we affectionately call the bits and bytes of computer systems. Uh, on the other side, we have the study of business, and so you know, many of our students study accounting or finance, uh, maybe management or marketing, organizational behavior, what have you, and those are, are almost pure sort of business disciplines. And so where does computer information systems fit? Well, it's again right in the middle, this intersection. So it's taking some of what is done in computer science and really using it to to sort of tailor it to apply to uh, the business side of the world. So for example, database management systems. How do we um, design and use a database management system to address business problems? In the computer science world, you might talk about the data structures that underlie a database management system. In CIS, our database management system course is going to say how do we, it's going to teach you how do we take that um, DBMS and apply it to, to address business decisions. Um, obviously programming languages are, are going to be a part of this because ultimately uh, whatever the business requires, we're going to have to write some code to address that. So if there are business rules, if there are reports that the business needs, um, all of that is going to end up being programmed in, in programming languages, so we also have to teach that. 
the systems analysis and design is again squarely in this between the technology and the business side how are we going to take those business requirements and then translate them into technology requirements uh, and then finally the IT project management um, all of these sorts of business development are done as projects and how does an IT person um, sort of plan out, schedule, monitor, and basically carry out an entire IT development project. Uh, so again, those topics that are in the middle of the screen here at the bottom, these are squarely um, in the intersection of these two worlds. All right, now, what else do we need to know? CIS is, is typically taught within the business school here at Baruch College. It's in the Zicklin School of Business. And so what are these different areas? Well, everybody takes liberal arts courses. So you're going to take some science, some math, some um, English, uh, foreign language, that sort of stuff. So everybody has to take liberal arts. Then you have the business core. So those are... Um, uh, half a dozen to a dozen courses that everybody has to take. So the accounting, the finance, the macro, microeconomics, all of that's going to be there. And then what we're going to focus on today is choosing CIS as a business major. All right, and we'll we'll do another video about the minor and the tier three minor and so on. Okay, so here's just a brief outline of the CIS major. There are four required courses. Each of these is a three credit course. We start off. Um, talking about the object-oriented programming, we have the database management systems, systems analysis and design, and then the IT development and project management course, which we sometimes refer to as the capstone course. So these four courses are required. And then we have a whole list of elective courses, and really it's kind of wide open here. Uh, you can choose any four of this following list of courses. Uh, we do add new courses, I would say, every other semester. You'll probably see a new course. Um, often we have what are called the Special Topics courses, which are over here, the CIS 4670. And those are just really sort of cutting-edge, state-of-the-art courses that um, we're going to run as a Special topic, see how they work before they get folded into the rest of the list of elective courses. Uh, so again, in, in some follow-on videos, we'll talk about what are some combinations of these electives that you could take if you want to focus on particular areas within CIS. Okay, so that's going to do it for this uh, first little part. We're going to go ahead and um, call it quits for now, and we will be adding new videos soon. Uh, as always, please send any comments, suggestions, or questions to me, and we will hopefully be able to put those in future videos.